Here I am, a Cockney fellow, in the middle of the woods, because my journey now has reached Henry Percy, or Henry Hotspur Percy. I'm not going to call him Hotspur, I refuse to. It's not, it just doesn't really roll off the tongue, being a West Ham fan. So I'm going to put that in a little box, the football thing, because I need to concentrate on this man. We're going off tracks, literally, because he's not royal, but he did knock about with royals. Clearly like to tear up. I don't know what he's doing, he's standing on some dog or something, which upsets me slightly. I'm excited, you know. I'm going to get this get-up on. Yeah. I'm meeting an expert on knights in armour called Toby, who's going to help me understand my Henry. Ah, oh, hey, Toby. Danny. How are you? All right. I've experienced Talking a bit of this chain mail with the Viking period. Did it change yeah. a lot, yeah. did it, or is it the same sort of...? No, mail is one of the most universal forms of armour, and it's used by the Romans, Vikings, Normans, and in the 14th century, in the age of Henry Percy, mail is still a hugely important part of heavy, the knight's it? equipment. It is heavy, but it's worth wearing. The 14th century, where we are now, is the age when mail is being augmented with large pieces of articulated plate armor. Right. So to get it on, we got to start at the feet and work our way up. OK. Oh, snug, isn't it? It should be. Oh. I'm just going to ask you to hold that for a second. Oh, yes. Oh, it's intense. You would feel quite indestructible. You need to feel indestructible so that everybody else believes that you're indestructible. Yeah. This is a culture where you can't send young men to die unless you go with them. They're not going to fight for England. Mm. They're going to fight for you. But you can't get the commanders killed. You're far too important. Aren't you? So you need the gear to make sure they can fight in the front lines and have a reasonable chance of surviving. There we go. Good. This is arrow proof. This is crossbow proof. This is uh, a major leap forward in armor technology. Rock hard, right? And someone like Henry Percy would have been one of the first people to have the latest gear. Just gets heavier and heavier. Incredible. It's like wearing another man. Whatever that feels like. Someone like Henry Percy would have been wearing armor since he was eight, ten years old, at constantly training. Just get used to it. You know, yeah. Your whole body evolves to be an engine to power this equipment. How long could battles go on for? Three hours. Oh, three hours. Something like that. After about three, four hours, everyone's it's dead. Happen. Henry Percy got his nickname Hotspur because of his speed in battle. He served under both Richard II and Henry IV gaining a fierce reputation defending the English border with Scotland and in wars abroad. Percy also showed off his skills at tournaments, which earned him celebrity status. Yeah. Oh, that's better. People in the 14th century had to exercise and train in this stuff as well. And there's a number of uh, descriptions of how knights actually trained so that they could stay in their armors and, and, and fight for long periods of time. Um, by uh, running through forests like this in their armor. <laughs> well, I got caught up in the tree. Oh. So that's no good, is it? I didn't think about that, did I, in the medieval period? Trees can cop for you, look. look. What do you want to do now, young Toby? Press-ups. Press-ups? Two, three. Oh. That's hard work, that. It's not just that, it's just the, the armor digging into yeah. your skin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. On the old knuckles. Yeah. Oh, otherwise, I'd have been able to do about 50. I noticed in films and that, you see, you know, a lot of actors, you know, like myself, without the helmet, you know, in, in battle. Just wouldn't happen, would it? No, no, that's one of the things that drives me crazy about historical dramas these days, actually. They want to see the actor's face. I understand that, I guess. Well, that is sexy, isn't um, it? I, obviously, yes. But in a battle, 
that your head is the most exposed, the most vulnerable part of you. You take one shot on your head and you're finished. And you've got nice gear. You don't need to see your face. Everybody knows uh, who you that's are. That's debatable, but... No, Once you've got I'll, that I'll, I'll tell you what, I'll, you might, I'll get recognised. I wouldn't mind bowling about uh, in blue water like this. <laughs> Save me a lot of aggravation with selfies. <laughs> When this visor goes down, there's no human side to you at all no. anymore. When that visor goes down, you become a killing machine. And people can't look in your eyes, they can't see the look on your face. You could be terrified in there. Could be crying under there. You could be crying under there, but they once the not. visor's down, it's only the, the image that the armor is projecting. It's, uh, it, it's, it's a transformative thing. I mean, the only thing I do like about the armor is you can't tell I've got a belly. <laughs> Maybe we should try a bit of weaponage okay. before yep. I faint. Yeah. Shall we try the axes? Yeah. Young man, yeah. prepare me. With complete armor like this, swords are not going to do anything. So if you need armor fighting weapons like this, the two-handed poleaxe, which is one of the classic knightly weapons of this period. Whoa! Yeah, you, know, you couldn't whisper in this, could you? Uh -huh. If I went, look, listen, they're over that way, I think. They've not seen us. But what we'll do is we'll uh, we'll sneak up around the back, you know what I mean? Yeah. Just try and hit me right here. Oh, OK. Yep. Good. So there's not a lot you can see, is there? No, fuck all. But a lot of this is just being aware of the space around you, even when you can't see it. So I still know where you are, yeah. even though I can't see very much. Where are you? Over here. You could probably take a donk on the head from this, couldn't you? Give it a try. I won't go in my head. Oh, yeah, yeah, look, look. Go on, go on, give me a one. Go on. go on. Yeah, all right, fuck. Yeah. Show me another move. Uh-huh. OK, try it with the cue. Come up high and try and use the cue to stab me in the chest and then come in with that, yeah? OK. Yeah, ah. Do they uh, ever have a rest nights after, you know, they go, hold up a minute, mate, I'm a... <laughs> Absolutely. I'm oh, good. Competitive fights that were fought in friendly conditions are usually fought to a certain number of blows in a friendly context, I can see. not on the battlefield. I can see why. Yeah, it's tiring. It's difficult, this. Should we... Let's get out. Should we have a night kiss? Absolutely. Come here. Oh, Thank you for your death. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> 